Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. On the last video, I showed, I explained the concept of working distance with a 105 and a 60 millimeter macro uh, and with a plus four diopter add-on, a dry diopter, which reduces the working distance but allows greater than one-to-one -one magnification on the sensor. Now in the real world, I don't like to use the dry diopters because then you're committed to using super macro the entire dive and you have a limited focus range. Everything that you see, you have to be about from here to here in terms of your range of distance from the subject, um, something like that, or you're not gonna get a clear image. That's really limiting. Uh, so, there's two options. For the 105 millimeter lens here, okay, I like to use what's called a wet diopter. Now there's different companies that make them. I happen to have a subsea. Uh, you can use a plus five or a plus 10. And this wet diopter uh, goes on, on top of the port here. And, you know, you're not committed the entire dive. So I can be shooting a subject, and if it allows me to get close, I can flip this over. One simple flip. And now, voila, I've got, I can achieve super macro, get greater than one-to-one -one magnification on the sensor. I am reducing the water column. I'm getting closer. But with the 105, I have a little bit, uh, a little bit of greater water column. So I can approach skittish subjects and sometimes get close enough to get really good super macro shots. All right, it's hard to focus. You've got to be real still. We'll talk about some of the technical challenges later though. Now, with the 60 millimeter macro, I love the 60 millimeter and I use it more than the 105 because it's got quicker autofocus, better lighting, it's better in low visibility because you have less of a water column. And I just sometimes honestly have a hard time getting a tack sharp picture with my 105 millimeter uh, macro lens. So the problem with the 60 millimeter macro, if I'm going to use a diopter, and I have used a diopter with it, a wet diopter, but boy, you know, already the working distance for a 60 millimeter macro is only uh, about two and three quarter inches. If I'm putting a, t a, pl a plus 10 wet diopter, I'm closer and closer right on top of the subject almost everything will is you know will swim away and it's hard to get your strobes in that tight so there's a solution to that for a 60 millimeter macro i will use a 1.4x teleconverter now the cool thing about the teleconverter is is allows greater than one to one magnification on the sensor in this case 1.4 to one and um, you have your the same or similar working distance as you did with the 60. So instead of being right on top of it, I can be at my normal working distance of two and three quarter inches. And now when I take the shot, I get greater than one to one magnification on the sensor. Now you have to check, not all uh, teleconverters, the autofocus works. So that can be an issue. And my autofocus doesn't work on the 105, but I wouldn't want to really use a teleconverter on the 105. It's going to make the lens too long. I would need an even longer port. And also you'll lose an f-stop of light. I would have too much trouble illuminating my subject. When I use the 60 millimeter macro with a teleconverter, I can't use my normal short port, but I find that the 105 millimeter port works just fine. So in summary, that's what I like to do in the real world to shoot super macro. With the 60 millimeter macro, I will use a 1.4 teleconverter. And now I have similar working distance and I can focus, I have the focus range as far out as I want. With a 105, I like to use a wet a diopter plus five or plus ten and that way if I don't if I, I don't have to be committed to macro if I can get close enough to the subject I just flip it in and now I can achieve a super macro shot so that's what I use and I hope this little demonstration was helpful thanks for tuning in